this video, we would like to talk about osteoarthritis. First, we will start with anatomy of the structure that affected by osteoarthritis, etiology, risk factor, and management of osteoarthritis. What is osteoarthritis? Osteoarthritis is the clinical and pathological outcome of range of disorder that result in structural and functional failure of synovial joint. Traditionally, it has been considered a disease of articular cartilage. Osteoarthritis involves entire of the joint organ which include a subchondral bone, ligament, a periarticular muscle, which muscles are connected to the bone, and synovium. In an this is anatomy. So this is, we took two illustrations from knee and hip. Osteoarthritis as affect every joint, however most common is knee, hip and shoulder joint as well wrist joints. This is when the position when the knee is bended forward, so this is called hyaline cartilage and there are ligaments that connect two bones each other. There are two crustal ligament and two lateral collateral ligament, which an intraarticular is meniscus, which cushion the joint during the uh, load bearing. And this is back of the knee, so as well hyaline cartilage, and the, this is the posterior crustal ligament. And in this jaw, this is the femur, head of the femur, where the most arthritis occur in acetabulum, which, because hip joint uh, is not round, so therefore the head of the femur can cause impingement. What are the risk factors for development of osteoarthritis? We divide it in modifiable and non-modifiable. Non modifiable are also divided uh, local and systemic. Local uh, risk factors are when the muscle uh, stabilize, stabilizing joint when the weakness of the muscle and mechanically when the, you have e, uh, various deformity or valgus deformity which is mean uh, when the knee is inward or out when they call bony that is a misalignment of the joint can cause development arthritis that is mechanical, called mechanical malalignment of joint, and also trauma. If during the football or any other sport activity, when you have a, this structure, such as a, mostly meniscus or crustal ligament or lateral collateral ligament, when you when they get injured, it causes premature osteoarthritis. The other so the not uh, the other modifiable local factor are obesity. When you gain weight, the excessive load cause compression of this uh, structure, develop osteoarthritis. And also some study suggests a diet and bone metabolism. Uh, what are the non 
modifiable systemic factor, it could be aging. As aging start increasing recently, rapidly, cause arthritis and genetic factors, also ethnicity. So what are the clinical features of osteoarthritis? The osteoarthritis start first with bone deformity, which they call subchondral bone. Subchondral bone is where the underhyaline cartilage and bone trabeculae. Because a uh, hyaline cartilage is non-neural, uh, non, it's uh, a vascular and lymphatic. The pain produced by from the bone trabeculae. The, the early osteoarthritis, it won't be pain because the excess continuous bone remodeling cause osteophyte, which osteophyte or bone ectopic that develop such as uh, the end of the bone and spread to the uh, spread to the cartilage. Breakdown of cartilage result uh, pain and also osteoarthritis is low inflammatory. Low inflammatory because the synovium, synovium is a liquid between the intraarticular joint which allow joint is smoothly glide over each other. Lately we will demonstrate on other models. And symptoms will be pain, early symptom will be pain, and when the osteoarthritis gradually increase, you will have a stiffness. But moderate osteoarthritis, you will have a pain and stiffness. Stiffness will ease once you rest. However, most advanced osteoarthritis, the pain will be during activity, also end of activity. Sometimes you might pay, present pain during the sleeping. And also advanced uh, arthritis will cause disability, it will, you won't be able to straighten your joint and will affect your quality of life. As you become more uh, immobile, arthritis will spread further. What are the management for osteoarthritis? First of all, they will recommend you to do regular activity. If you are overweight, your practitioner mostly will uh, ask or require you to lose some weight as possible. Also, during uh, regular uh, moving and conservatively, you will get treatment. And if the conservative treatment and physical activity, physical exercise fail to uh, stop uh, osteoarthritis, however, is not preventable in late stage. Early stage, you can, you can maybe limit progression. As aging goes, the progression and prevention will be most uh, difficult. And after all these uh, modalities, when they fail, your uh, consultant or practitioner may uh, ask for a knee replacement. However, knee replacement will not do the same function as your actual uh, structure of the knee. Pathophysiology of the arthritis is 
that is inflammatory because inflammatory mediator trigger the uh, synovium cause synovial and uh, cartilage uh, breakdown and cartilage uh, ossification. Uh, as we say, hyaline cartilage, intracartular is a uh, neural uh, vascular. The pain also will be manufactured by the inflammation that invade the joint uh, articular will cause pain. So we, our second model is, this is, we ask a butcher if we can have a, a joint. So he gave a lump joint. So as you say, this is the posterior, the back of the, uh, your knee. And this is the front. As you see, uh, this is very young and healthy lamb. As you say, is more uh, gliding, and this is small uh, kneecap. And you say, in most in during, as if you see, like there is no crepitus, there is no grinding joint is motioning fluently. So advanced osteoarthritis, once you wake up or when you're uh, standing from sitting position, you will feel your joint is grinding, that we call crepitis. So crepitis, there is no in this joint. So also, if you uh, advance osteoarthritis, your knee will be in stable move. However, as you see, this joint is now, there is no cavitation in the joint. In advanced osteoarthritis, the two bone, the two bone will connect together again to go back to my illustrated drawing. So in advanced osteoarthritis, all this structure will out. So this is nice, healthy joint. Is there is a space between two bone, therefore do not produce uh, stiffness. And stiffness is due to two bone aburnation, what called two bone, when two bone aburnate, grinding over each other produce symptom. One of the symptoms of advanced arthritis is continuous stiffness. There won't be gap between two bone. Therefore, you will hear your knee is clicking. Same as a uh, hip, because it's gliding smoothly, move uh, smoothly this hyaline cartilage during the advanced arthritis and bone remodeling. It will be osteophyte ectopic bone, which later will impinge the this called a subtabular and will impinge the subtabular cartilage and cause breakdown of the cartilage. Also, and genetically, as we say, uh, hip uh, arthritis could cause by congenital hip dysplasia and later life it will cause early arthritis. I hope you liked this video. And please don't forget to subscribe. In next video, we will talk about how to do exercise and strengthening your knee and hip for preventing arthritis, or if you have arthritis, how to can manage and delay uh, hip replacement. As you delay more further hip replacement, your quality of life will be great. Again, as other research says, hip replacement is non uh, advisable as possible as you can manage to not get that stage of a hip or knee replacement. Thank you very much for your time and I hope again hope you like this video.
and please do not forget subscribe. See you in next video.